Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on November 6th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Looking at quite a situation developing across the Northern Hemisphere. And I've been talking about these great changes that have been coming towards our planet. But right now I wanna share the next five days forecast here for the world mostly Northern Hemisphere we're going to be concentrating on here. And the low pressure systems that I've been talking about the last couple uploads have been huge. And just look at the size of this one over Alaska. Very strong winds and a lot of moisture. Not only that, but we have a Pacific Tropical Storm here northwest of Hawaii that is going to be heading into Alaska in the long range forecast as well. And then eventually eastward across Canada after we have another tropical system here in the eastern pacific that joined forces with an alaska low so these low pressure systems are joining forces they're getting bigger just as i predicted during this grand solar minimum so throughout upper midwest united states expect blizzard conditions as well across southern alberta now, uh, towards the border, they're looking at about 45 centimeters of snow. Here in Calgary, about 5 or 10 centimeters. But across the Prairie Provinces, watch for blizzard-like conditions for the next four days. Heading into the Hudson Bay and into Quebec. But then we've got the same thing going on on the other side of the world with Greenland. So we've got three large low-pressure systems across the Northern Hemisphere that are joining forces fueling down even more cold air more cloud cover look at the size of the low pressure system over Russia that's going to be a situation itself but in the long range forecast this does not look good for the northern hemisphere things are really ramping up into winter 2020 and as the farmer's almanac has predicted and as Mike with morning dew has predicted it's going to be a long, cold and wet winter. What happens in the Southern Hemisphere then happens and flips happens in the Northern Hemisphere. Looking at the Southern Hemisphere right now, the low pressure systems have been breaking up. Yes, there's still only one or two large low pressure systems that are spinning, but then now there are multiple. They seem to be splitting up and there's only one or two large lows. So things are really starting to organize themselves around the planet towards quite possibly a magnetic reversal. Which could actually slip us into a mini ice age. A 400 year cycle, a 1200 year cycle, a 12,000 year cycle. Our planet is going through changes. We've been here before, just not in our lifetime. We've got the same super typhoons still developing across the Philippines and Japan and looking at atmospheric compression quakes throughout the region right now. So stay aware and prepared. Things are really about to get hectic. We are truly on the verge of a grand solar minimum watching the sun's low activity and watching the magnetic field of both the sun and our planet and every other planet in our solar system, we're about to embark on a great change together. So later in the forecast, strong low pressure system here coming from the Pacific. Now, most likely we'll get trapped. I'm telling you, in the next two to three weeks, we could have a monstrous blizzard dropping meters of snow across the northwestern United States and Canada. In the long range forecast, things are really starting to change. Looking already at snowfall totals across the northern hemisphere, we are almost buried and it is only the first week of November. We're looking at 45 centimeters of snow across the prairies southern parts 
about 30 centimeters. But look at the BC coastline already looking at 150 centimeters being dropped in the next five to 10 days. So we're already looking pretty snowy. And not only that, but we have some important avalanche warnings to talk about here as well already. This is early, very early. And this is only west of Calgary. Very interesting enough, Glacier Park, Little Yoho National Park, and as well, Banff, Yoho, and Kootenay National Park. Now, these are all volcanic regions, believe it or not, people. Okay, we live literally 150 kilometers away from some pretty dormant volcanoes. But we're already looking at heavy snow packed in the foothills, especially northern Alberta. So stay aware and prepared. Be ready. Much love. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.